Hey there! Time again for Kids Art Fun. Today we're going to draw a cello. A cello is a stringed instrument used in an orchestra. It's carved out of wood and has some beautiful shapes. We'll start at the top. The top is where the strings are tied to pegs. And so you have to put the wood curly cue carved part. And then we're going to do the side of the cello. So watch carefully as you go down, curve outward and down, and then in at a little in part on the face, and then back down again and around. Now try to do the same shape all the way back up the other side, matching the shape. And then up into the neck, where the strings ride and where the fingers push down on the strings. Now we're going to draw a little bit of depth, showing that we're looking at the cello from an angle. So you have to show how thick the cello is. And we're looking at it from this side, where we can see the side. And then, of course, we can't quite see it anymore at the bottom. Here's the beautiful little carved holes in the deck. And now we're going to draw the bridge and the part that holds the bottom of the strings tightly. And that little peg we just did, that's where it sits on the ground. Okay, those little pegs are the things that tighten up the strings. We'll draw them in there. And there's four strings, so four pegs. Now here's the part that holds the strings up off the deck of the cello so they can vibrate properly. Okay, now we're going to finish the board and color it in. So the part underneath the strings has some different shading. That part of the cello sits above the wood box and is painted black. And is where the people push down on the strings with their fingers to make the music. We're just going to color the board all the way up. Careful to keep it in the lines, not to squiggle over the edges. Okay, now we're going to outline the bottom of the board. And put the little holes where the strings are attached. And then... Carefully put the strings. You notice that the string goes to the bridge in the middle there, and it looks like it changes direction just slightly there because it's being lifted off the board. Kind of hard with your free hand to do that one, but you know, do your best. And there you go, there's the four strings to the cello. So there's the main part of the cello all outlined. I guess we have to color it in now and make the woods look natural. So we're using a really nice yellowy, golden, varnished wood color. These cellos are very, very beautiful. And again, you have to color very carefully all around the shapes, making sure to keep it inside the frame of the cello. And of course, you see the color underneath the strings where they're coloring now. But we left the bridge white because the bridge is another piece of material. Carefully coloring in the bottom color. Okay, now we do the other side. Again, being very careful to outline the parts that aren't supposed to be yellow or wood color. It's good to use long, even strokes and just kind of, kind of like you're mowing a lawn backwards, where you color and color all the whites gently, touching the other line. Makes it easier than just scribbling it all, because you don't have any gaps and it looks much more even. 
just long, gentle strokes of the pen, which continue to fill the color. And be careful to get that line right around the edge. Okay. Now, of course, the side of the jello will be a little darker color. Oh, and also the wood top part of the cello. But the reason the side is a different color is not only that we're looking at an angle, but also they often make cellos with a darker wood on the side. So we pick a little darker brown and color it in very carefully. You can see how the cello immediately looks like it has depth, it has thickness. And the color helps create that illusion. Hold on to the paper, don't let it slide around. Okay, now we just have a few more little pieces to color in, and we're almost there. We go back to a gray color, because that part of the cello is actually blackish gray, like the upper part of the board. And a little bit on the foot. Now that little bridge that raises the strings and give that a little different shading. Yes, and we've got the knobs. They could be a nice bluish color. And there we have it, the beautiful orchestral cello. Thanks for watching and do come back and don't forget to subscribe.